to Later with Leon. I'm your host, Justin Legend, Leon Rogers. And today I'm honored to have a good friend on the show. Her name is Alita Clark, but everybody calls her Englewood Barbie. Hey, Englewood Barbie! Yeah. So, I've known you for a while, and I've always been amazed at how you're out here in these streets and you're trying to do good, especially in the community that needs it, Inglewood. We talk, we hear about Inglewood on the news all the time, and when we hear about it, it's in a bad light. But they never seem to shine light on a lot of the people that do good in Inglewood. Uh, Fatal, yeah. good, good friend of mine who does well, and, and you yourself. Talk about Alita Clark, because I know Inglewood Barbie and I know Alita, but a lot of people don't know the story of Alita Clark and how you came to be this this proud black woman doing things in your neighborhood. Okay, it's like I don't know where to start. Um, well, I think that I'm good at what I do because of everything that I've been through. Mm -hmm. um, me, like a lot of other people in Chicago and just all over the world, I was not dealt a good hand. Um, I was a ward of the state. Um, when I was 18 months, my mother left me at a police station and she never came back. Um, from that point, I was in group homes, residentials, foster homes, where I experienced a lot of abuse and, um, you know, just feeling like nobody wanted me. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, now that I'm a grown-up <laughs> and I have children, I just really want to be everything that I needed when I was growing up. So I use my organization, Hugs No Slugs, to just try to be that person, just to be that move. like. I can't, I'm not God, I'm not Junior Jesus, I'm just trying, like, I'm trying to implement love in all of these forgotten communities and, and just people that get looked over like the friends, you know, and everybody's like, well, you got a 501c3, why don't you just get grants? I am, that, you know, of course I want to get grants. I don't know any grant writers, but I just actually got um, connected with one. But my organization represents the community working together, like, when you hear Inglewood, you don't hear about good stuff like you said no, no. you hear about people dying kids dying elders getting shot like how you wait till you get 53 to get shot like that's what's happening in our community in our hood and it's like since i'm in the hood and i'm from the hood and it's like i can't move right now you know so it's like i gotta make where i'm at okay for me to be and mm. other people and other kids like i gotta make it comfortable as much as I can. When so. you when you, you talk about what, what you went through going up and, and we just had Miss Miracle How, uh, mm -hmm. Miracle uh, on the show from The Voice and she went through some things. How did you overcome that? Like, you know, because going to foster homes and, and being in group homes and stuff like that, that can be very trying on a teenager, nonetheless, 18 months. Mm -hmm. how, how did you get through that? Like, what, what helped you get through that? <sighs> Mm. I guess I'm still dealing with it, um, honestly. Uh, I, had some, I had some good people in my life as a kid that um, I actually still maintain a close relationship with, like my school counselor, Ron Strong. Like, he really helped me get through high school and helped me understand that things that was happening to me wasn't my fault. Right. Um, I had a staff in a group home named Adrian. I was really close with her and she always like, she never looked at me as a resident in a group home. She used to call me her sister and she still do to this day. But it's like, every time I help somebody, it reminds me of where I used to be. So it makes me wanna go, you know, even harder. So, so let's talk about some of the things you do in the, of course, hugs, no slugs. Mm -hmm. you, we've talked numerous times about that, but you also feed the homeless. Uh, um, oh. Excuse me? The friends? Hugs, so, hugs, no slugs. I said you always, you come and talk. We don't call them homeless, Leon. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> our friends. Yeah. You feed our friends. I don't want no smoke. Yeah, I got some, but um, you better not do that um, no more. Club 51. So yeah. talk about that and how long has that been going on? So I think we are probably at like three years now. Um, or maybe it just seems that long because we do it for such a long period of time. Uh, everybody always like, oh, you're just such a great person. You be out there feeding them people, woo woo. But I didn't wake up one day like I'm gonna feed the homeless. No. I literally went to the police station to try to get my little brother out of jail, and I just saw all of these people sleep on the floor. And when I asked the police, like, 
Y'all let them do this? They told me, yeah. I'm like, well, dang. Like, can I come feed them? Feed them. When they told me, yeah, it went from one day to seven months. Okay. So where can people, real quick, we got to get out of here, but where can people find you if they want to donate, if they want to help you out, if they want to come help feed our friends? Yes. <laughs> um, on social media, I'm Inglewood Barbie on Instagram and on Facebook. I can't accept any more um, friend requests, but you can follow me, Alita Clark, and we always under the Vidoc on 51st, right before you get to Wentworth at 1030 every single night until April 20th. All right, man. Give it up for Inglewood Barbie and Miss Alita Clark. Thank you for coming out. Oh, look at you, Beyonce. You did your thing. We'll be right back. More later with Leon, man. I'll have a final thought when we do.